Thank you, you so much for taking today. the time today. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for Thank giving you. us time. So listen, guys, how are we feeling? How was it? How did it feel to be back on set filming for season three after I'm sure being harassed by fans about when it was coming back? I know because I'm one of those fans. <laughs> <laughs> Feels Whoa. so good. Yeah, it, it, yeah. It was just it's such it's such an incredible opportunity to go back to work. It's great. Yeah, Mr. Mr. Uh, Perry, he really um, came through. Like, basically, we filmed season three right after the SAG actor strike. Yeah. Um, the union strike, and um, we filmed in December of 2023. Yeah. So he got us back on set. It was just a great feeling to be with these guys. Um, he empowers us uh, to be able to like have fun and play on set. And it was just good to be with, you know, my castmates, <laughs> my friends, my family now. My best friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was um, it was definitely a vibe, as we like to call it. Uh, every time we get back together, it feels like each season gets better and better. So season three was uh, the best. Yeah, so it was it's, definitely it's, the best, it's the best season, season so we've done. So yeah. I think you are in for a treat. I think you'll be very happy with the performances and just the story we're telling. And uh, yeah, every time we get together, it's very magical. We all kind of stay together as well uh, when we're filming. So we just have this very close bond that we formed. I love that. And, you know, just speaking of the bond, I, one of my favorite parts about the show is seeing like this male friendship on screen and the portrayal of, you know, the different layers that you guys have, because it's something we don't really get to see too often. Um, and, you know, everybody brings their own unique perspective. I know Nathan for sure stands out. So um, <laughs> Cameron, for you, how similar is he to you in your everyday life? In my everyday life, not too similar, but I Thank can go. God. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not hanging around guys like this, so you know, they're nothing like that. But um <laughs> but it's um I think everybody has had a little Nathan in them at one point in their life. Mm -hmm. Just a, a time where you're just living recklessly and just trying to just live vicariously through your boys and just uh it's a lot of immaturity but you know we all grow up eventually but yeah nathan is a. Uh, it's fun to play nathan though because nathan kind of has no restrictions so no for me i get to say stuff i wouldn't normally say get to do stuff i wouldn't normally do so i embrace it you know i'm full-fledged i'm all i'm all the way method with nathan you know <laughs> <laughs> all the way method all the way method from sun, from sun down yeah you hear me? <laughs> You know, and I mean, it's been three seasons, but I feel like things really changed by the episode with this show. So how do you think your characters have changed from season one until now? And Remington, we can start with you. Yeah, I would say for Bryce, I mean, you know, he started being great friends with Zach, coming in, building this business. Now he's dealing with, in season three, uh, <laughs> you know, a lot of redemption. He needs to redeem himself. And like Cameron was saying, I think that all of us feel like there's times in our lives when we feel like we've made mistakes and we feel like mm -hmm. we've let our loved ones down, yeah. whether it's like a romantic relationship mm -hmm. or a friendship. And he's really trying to build back up now to gaining trust with the loved ones in his life. So mm -hmm. I, I think that that's where, where Bryce has gone. It started really high and now he's, <laughs> he's, he's diving down and we'll see the, uh, the ascent again. I love that. I love that. <laughs> And how about the rest of you? How do you feel like your characters have changed? Um, I would say Tony's grown a lot from when we first saw him. You know, um, just he kind of had that same level of maturity as uh, Nate had. Um, and I think he was one of the first close friends to Zach that kind of was like, look, if this is if you feel good about this, then I'm with you and I fully support you. Um, so, I mean, just that between season one and season two, I thought was a huge change. And in season three, um, as you can see from the trailer, um, Tony and Zach kind of get into it um, really because he's just trying to be protective of his, of his boy. So one thing stays the same, which is that care and protection for his boy. Um, but what's changed is that he realizes the relationship between Zach and Fatima is for the better for Zach. Um, so he's fully on board with that. And for me, no. <laughs> oh, Nathan. <laughs> Um, no, I think honestly, to be quite real, I think Nathan has had probably the biggest leap uh, mm. of growth um, from one to three. You know, uh, <laughs> you seem very surprised. So I, <laughs> I, I don't know if I expected that answer, but okay. <laughs> good, good. Because um, 
I'm very proud of of uh, the trajectory Nathan is on. Mm. Um, he's still himself, though. Don't get it twisted. He's still Nate Dog. <laughs> but uh, no? but um, I think his maturity in seeing the um, the love, the genuine love that Fatima has for Zach, has really uh, become prevalent to him, especially in his own relationship and marriage. I think he is seeing something uh, happen to Zach, and that catalyst is Fatima. So I think he starts to slowly um, kind of come around to it, but we'll see how he lands on it. But uh, I. I I definitely commend the maturity and the trying to be a good friend. Mm -hmm. mm, okay. Okay. There's so of, season three. Say yeah. that. There's a lot of arcs in season three. There's yeah. a lot of changing of arcs. You and know, I, we got to see, like, I got to preview the first two episodes and I'm, of course, no spoilers, but I'm very excited to see where this goes. I can already tell is, we're starting on 10. So we're only. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, we are. 10. I mean, so <laughs> season three, I guess, what do you think your your character's biggest lesson will be in season three? Give you if you want to take that and start that off. Yes. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for saying my name. Right. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, so I, I, um, I would say one of the biggest challenges? Uh, lessons. The biggest lesson your character. I think, I think one of the biggest lessons that Tony learned is that um, sometimes you want to protect someone from themselves, but you it, you can't always protect somebody mm. from who they are and what they want to do. Yeah. Um, as much as we want to care, you know, it's like a parent wants to protect the child. Don't touch the stove. The child has to touch the stove and get burnt to realize they shouldn't touch the stove. So I think that was one of the biggest lessons that Tony learned in the season is that you can't prevent people from being who they are and doing what they want to do. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that was deep. Anybody want to go after that? <laughs> <laughs> right. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I would say for Bryce, for season three, I think it's gaining trust back. Mm -hmm. You know, losing trust from those around you and uh, seeking redemption and also gaining a self acceptance. I think Bryce mm. is always dealing with self acceptance. I think that's, that's why he makes mm. the blunders he makes is because uh, his lack of self acceptance. And I think we can all relate to that. Oh, that's, de that's deep. That's deep. That's deep. Is it deep? That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. That's deep. It was. That was deep. I just <laughs> <laughs> um, you went there. Are you went there. Um, I, I think for Nathan, the biggest lesson he learns is that um, honesty is the best policy. Um, as a friend, uh, the truth can hurt our friends, but true friends tell each other the truth. It's necessary. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, it's 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 um, yeah. being real with your boys, kind of laying it all on the table, putting all your cards on the table. It it may not be um, it may not feel the best in the moment, but in the long term, it's always the best uh, best solution for any problem. So I think mm -hmm. Nathan learns that. And he stands by that. So I'm kind of excited for everybody to see that. Man, you guys deliver with three deep answers. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wrap real quick. Season three, three rapid fire questions for you. If you could switch characters with anyone on the show for one episode, who would it be? Fatima. <laughs> I would switch characters with Fatima. I like that. Fatima. I love that you were just like. You've been doing it long. He just really, really, really hard. It's a really hard character. Crystal plays it's, it really well. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, yeah, it's 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 a beautiful character. Yeah, that's dope. If I could switch, I'm just. If oh, I man. would switch, I would be. I would. I would do Nate. <laughs> I think. I think, I think we would other. switch with each other. I would be Nate. Hundred percent. I would be Nate. Surprise, <laughs> curveball. I want to be Bryce. Ooh. I think you Bryce. Warm, is, you warm my heart. Bryce's, <laughs> Bryce's character is so interesting and funny because he's um, as an Asian American character in a predominantly black city or cast or in Atlanta where he's taking place, all the people in his circle are, they're, they're people he doesn't have much experience with. Yeah. So it's a, he's walking this tightrope every time, trying not to be insensitive, but trying to be inclusionary. And he's dating this, this woman now, but he's also bi. And it's like, he has all these different layers on top of him mm -hmm. that make him a character. Just very interesting. You know, as much as I love Tony and Nate Dogg, <laughs> but Bry Bryce's character is very interesting. That, that's that's right. That's right. <laughs> very layered. Very layered. Very layered. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> if you could have any celebrity guest star on the show, who would it be? Timothy Chalamet. <laughs> oh, Timothy Chalamet. I just love Dune. I, I, I'm, I'm, I love Dune. You know? like, I mean, <laughs> uh, I'm going to say Beyonce. 
Oh yeah. Mm. Maybe Fatima's big sister, you know, uh, like sister, you know, her and Fatima. I'd love to see that. <laughs> I would say Morris Chestnut come in as my like uncle oh or pops. Oh my gosh, that would be okay. super great. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Surprise guest episode, my pops comes in. It's more chestnut. <laughs> okay, okay. And lastly, if you could use one word to describe season three, what would it be? Ooh, um, full send. Ooh, it's a full send, baby. I would say a roller coaster. Mm. I would say unpredictable. Mm. Mm. The I'm only person that used one word. Yeah, I only person used one word. word. I listen. I'll go I listen, with that. B. I'll go I with listen, that. B. I'll go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys again so much. I appreciate it. It's the team of season three, October third. We are ready. I have my DVR set. <laughs> yes. yes. Perfect. Thank you guys so much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Okay. Bye. You too, Vicky. Nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs>